All right, I'm back. Thank you for coming back. This time I told you we're gonna talk about subtraction. Again, if you are first grade, second grade, even third grade, and possibly kindergarten, well shoot, you can be any grade, all right? It never hurts to go back and learn something again. So if you wanna hang out and watch what I'm gonna do, cool. Uh, first grade, second grade, I really want you to pay attention to this. We started doing this before school got cut short, and uh, it's important. Before we do that, uh, I put a little solar system up here. It's our solar system, all right? We live within this group of planets that circles that beautiful sun up in the sky. That sun is so important. We talked about how that sun helps create life on this planet, all right? All these planets, even though I have them in a straight row, they actually are in different spots as they go around the sun. They go around the sun. Earth, it takes it 365 days to go around the sun completely. To go all the way around the sun, it takes the Earth 365 days. Do you know what happens at the end of that 365 days? Well, 2020 turns into 2021. All right, and if I had that little number here. Uh, uh, so if we look at this, uh, again, Earth goes around the sun. It takes it 365 days. 365 days is one year on Earth. That's how we count, and that's how we know when a year is up. Uh, but hold on a second. We have sun, and it creates light. And then we have the moon when it's dark. So doesn't the earth, how does that even work? Well, it's like this. As the earth goes around the sun, as it goes around the sun, it is also spinning while it goes around, okay? While it goes around, it is spinning. So every time it spins this way, and faces the sun, that's the side that is light, and this side that's facing away from the sun, that's the side that is dark or nighttime. Now watch, it spins. Now this side is facing not the sun. It's facing away from the sun. This side is facing the sun. Pretend like on the earth. Again, this side is facing no sun, that's nighttime. This side facing the sun, it's daytime. That's how it works. It just spins and spins, daytime and nighttime, over and over and over again for 365 days, and that's when it's gone completely around the sun. Um, I don't know if some of y'all remember this, but each one of these planets have a name. I know you know this one. Very important, all right? Very important because you're standing on it right now, or you're sitting. Every single thing that is everywhere is on the that's right, on the earth, all right? Everything. Could you imagine holding that in your hands? I couldn't, I can't do it. It's impossible. I can barely hold that table up, all right? The earth is holding that table. It's holding everything, everything. It's incredible. The earth is so strong. It is so strong. It's so powerful. It's got water. It's got grass. All those things on top of it, all right? It's life, life, the trees. Can you imagine holding a tree? There's like, what, 50 million trees in this world? Can you imagine holding all those? Plus the people, plus everything, all right? Everything. We drew this wall, we built this wall. It's going up, but it's still on earth. It's still on the earth. The earth is still holding it because the earth is holding the wall from the bottom, which is holding this up, right? And so on and so forth. I'm going to give you a second to look at the planets and see if you can name all of them, all right? I mean, you already have one, but I want you to start with the one that is closest to the sun and see if you can name them all. Give me just a moment. All right, we ready? I will help you with this. 
So we have the sun. And by the way, when we're looking at the sun, the actual, like, bigness of the sun, the actual hugeness, good night, there we go, is so massive, so incredibly massive. It's actually more like this, all right, compared to the other planets. No planet even comes close to the size of the sun. The sun literally would swallow up, I don't know, a hundred million Earths, okay? A lot. This is all the sun. And it just keeps going and going and going. It is humongous. Humongous. All right? Now, the first planet from the sun, that's going to be Mercury. You think it's cold there? No, it's not cold there. It's hot. All right? Venus is next. Do you think it's cold there? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, I think probably the coldest time it gets because it too spins while it's going around the sun. I think some sides can get really cold or this side would get really cold. This side would get really hot. Um, let's look at Earth. Earth is perfect. All right? It's got the perfect amount of temperature to be able to grow the life that we have here to create life. All right? The sun is just far enough that it is perfect for the earth. Any closer, none of us would be here. Nothing would be here. Nothing. Any farther, nothing would be here. It'd be too cold. So the earth literally is in the right spot. No, not too far, not too close. Right where it's supposed to be. Perfect. All right. So then after the earth, we have Mars. After Mars, we have Jupiter. Jupiter is a pretty big planet. All right. They call these the gas planets, but we have Jupiter, the big boy. Next planet after that is Saturn. We all know Saturn because of the ring. The ring is actually doesn't look like that. It doesn't look like that at all. It's actually more like let me show you if I can. More like all these little rocks. That go around it. It's just rocks. And ice. Right? So that's more accurate. Just pieces of rock and ice that just keep going around Saturn. And while that's going around Saturn, Saturn is going around the sun. Just all these planets, they all go around the sun. After Saturn, we have Uranus, okay? And then we have Neptune. And that's all the planets in our solar system. Our solar system are these planets that all go around this sun. It's like a group. It's our team. It's who we're with. All right. It's our brothers and our sisters. All right. And this is the person that takes care of us. So we can run a play. We can go all around the sun, but we can't leave. You can run around the sun, but you can't leave. You have to stay by the sun. All right. All right. We need to get into some subtraction. That's what this was all about. Let's see what kind of time I've got left, and uh, we'll take it from there. Oh, all right, nine minutes.